Hey writers, and welcome back to what will most likely be our last writing prompt of 2020. I hope you all enjoyed NaNoWriMo. I hope you found it both challenging and rewarding in equal respects, and that you're able to create something a little bit more longer form that you can stand behind and are proud of. But to sort of cap the year off, I wanted to take it back to our regularly scheduled programming, so to speak, and talk about something that I feel like a lot of us are experiencing around this time of year, and that is reflection. You know, whenever it gets to be toward the end of a year, I feel like a lot of us are kind of looking back over the last year and kind of thinking about different things that either challenged us, different accomplishments that we maybe made throughout the year, ways that we changed, ways that the world has changed. And there's no doubt that 2020 of all years has definitely been a time for reflection and thinking about who we are and who we're going to be moving forward. No matter where you um, fall on a variety of the issues that have happened this year, there's no doubt that 2020 has definitely been a challenging and different year for a lot of us. And so I think it's important to maybe take a second to just, you know, take a breath, look at that blank page, and think about it. Think about how 2020 has changed you. Think about maybe some events throughout 2020 that have helped define you and maybe accomplishments that you've made, maybe like challenges that you face and ways that you wanna sort of improve yourself and make next year even better for you. So a lot of writing that will focus around the idea of reflection is memoirs. And essentially, if you aren't already aware, what memoirs are, it's a sort of recollection of events that happen throughout one's life and them writing about it with where they are now. A lot of times you'll see celebrities or notable figures sort of do memoirs because, you know, maybe they've made, you know, significant accomplishments throughout their lifetimes that they kind of want to look back and reflect upon now that they're a little bit older. You know, the 50-year-old man is not going to have the same perspective of the same thing that he was doing when he was 20 years old. Even with y'all, you might not have the same sort of perspective that on things that you did when you were 8, 9, 10 years old that you do now. And I think that while we don't want necessarily get stuck in the past, I think that it can be really helpful to reflect upon it and just think about how you want to change or how you have changed throughout the year and what kind of person you want to be. I think looking back is a great way to see who we want to be moving forward and where we want to go moving forward. So to kind of keep this writing prompt simple, because I know a lot of you are probably just getting out of school for the semester and you don't want this like super heady writing prompt coming your way. So what I wanted to challenge all of you to do is just to take a moment, just take a breath, look at that blank page and describe an experience that you had throughout the last year. And this can be either good or bad, it can be happy or sad, it can be something that you did that you're really proud of, or it can be a challenge that you faced that really kind of messed with you and that you needed to overcome, so to speak. Um, it can be a singular experience, it can be the way that you changed throughout the entire year and sort of where you were at the start of the year versus where you are now. It can be a variety of things. But really, the only sort of requirement is that it happened to you within the year of 2020. And that, you know, this experience within the year of 2020 had a profound effect on you. It really maybe changed you in some ways. And so that is the final writing prompt of 2020, is to describe an experience that happened to you in 2020 and think about where that takes you. You know, try to write about it in more of a story format. Try to write about it as if you were writing about a character, except the character now is yourself. And the voice that you're speaking from is your own voice. With that, I wanted to take a moment to say that even though this is our last writing prompt, this isn't the end of feedback. You know, anytime that you want, at any time, you know, throughout this year and into the next, you're more than welcome to send us, you know, your stories, anything that you've been working on, and we'd be happy to give you feedback on that. I would most certainly be happy to give you feedback on that because nothing makes me happier and prouder than to see fellow writers grow alongside me. So with that, I want to say, have a good rest of the year, stay safe, stay well, take care of each other, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. See you next year.